Hi, I'm Paul Starmans, Customer Workflow Solution Consultant based in Melbourne, Australia. Today I want to take you through a great demonstration that we built to showcase CSM and how we can create an exceptional walk-up experience that helps bridge that gap between physical and digital customer service. Of course, this was a team effort, so before I start, a huge shout out and thanks to my field SE buddy Jonathan Jones and the superstars from the Workflow Design Studio, Dylan Lindgren and Chris Jeffrey. We'll be focusing on two different personas throughout this demonstration. First, we'll look through the eyes of the customer, Jenny Lewis. Jenny is looking to transfer the registration on a car she recently purchased. And while she can do much of this online, it'll also require a visit to the Motor Authority, which is where we meet our customer service agent, Liam Guthrie. Using ServiceNow, Jenny is able to book and manage her appointment with the Motor Authority, and Liam is able to access all the important information he needs right from a single interface to ensure Jenny receives a high standard of customer service that she's come to expect. So the first thing Jenny does is open up her Mobile Authority mobile app. She has access to all the functions she needs here, including the ability to update her registrations. She goes in and she selects the one she wishes to transfer. The new car that she's purchased has got personalised number plates, but she's not a fan of them, so she wants to swap them over for some new ones. In order to swap them though, Jenny will need to visit local Motor Authority office, and since we know exactly where Jenny is located, we're able to recommend the locations nearest to her. Jenny selects the one that is convenient and receives a notification to say a license plate will be ready for collection in a few days. So fast forwarding a little, Jenny receives a notification to let her know that the new plates have arrived at her local motor authority. She's super excited and can't wait to collect them. Using a simple scheduling feature, she's able to select an available appointment time and confirm her booking. She even gets a handy QR code that she can present when she arrives at her appointment. The next day when Jenny arrives at the motor authority, she's able to quickly check into her appointment using the self-service kiosk in the reception area. After scanning the QR code she received when she booked her appointment, she receives a confirmation with all her appointment details and a ticket is printed. Even better, Julie could even grab a coffee while she waits, knowing that the motor authority will also send her an SMS when her appointment is ready. As Jenny enters the waiting area, she sees her appointment number is displayed on a screen on the wall, letting her know that her appointment is up next. Soon enough, an audible alert lets her know that she is ready to be seen at station number 12, which is where Liam, our customer service agent and expert on all things relating to registration inquiries, is waiting to see Jenny to swap over her license plates. So now, let's take a look at the world through Liam's eyes and get a better understanding of how he manages activities and work throughout the day. Liam uses his agent workspace to prioritise and accept work throughout the day, and he gets a great overview of that from the dashboard on his homepage. To show how we better connect digital and physical service, when Jenny checked into her appointment earlier, Liam received a proactive notification in his inbox that she was waiting for her appointment. It was only when he accepted the new task that the screen in the waiting room changed, letting Julie know that she could now head over to see Liam. After accepting the task, Liam has all the important information at his fingertips, including the filtered knowledge articles specific to this case that ensures he always has up-to-date information He's also able to get great insight on Jenny and the recent interactions and activities she may have performed. This is great as it means Liam doesn't have to frustrate Jenny with a whole bunch of questions that she may have already answered and he can get straight to work exchanging those license plates. He navigates over to the task and picks out the one that's assigned to him. He reviews all the key vehicle details before closing out that task and completing the activity. Before she leaves, Jenny mentions that she needs an eye test for an upcoming license renewal. Unfortunately, Liam's not quite sure how to arrange that, but again, using the embedded knowledge features to look up the process, he's able to understand what he needs to do to book that appointment. It directs him to create a case, so at the click of a button, Liam's able to open a new case for the eye test and assign it to the relevant staff member. Jenny is so impressed at how easy it was to have all her inquiries sorted, and after completing Jenny's appointment, Liam heads back to his inbox to call the next waiting customer. As she leaves the Motor Authority, Jenny is prompted on her mobile phone to complete a quick survey about her experience, which of course she was absolutely delighted with.